Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I will explain how to add and use PLC Illustrated Library in Automation Studio. First of all if you don't have PLC Illustrated Library, download it by clicking on the link given in the description. Copy this library file and passed into the libraries folder. Open this library. So here you can see we have many brands of PLCs in this library, and in each category has different models of PLCs. For basic practice we will add Alan Bradley's MicroLogix 1000. This model of PLC has 10 inputs and 6 outputs. Let's make a very simple circuit to understand its function. So I will write its ladder logic and explain its function. Go to Generic Components and select Ladder 4. Alan Bradley's PLC. Alan Bradley Basic and add rung to the project. We can increase or decrease the number of rungs according to our requirement. Add function if input 0 closed, the output 0 will be energized. So add contact named, examine if close, at the first rung and link it to input 0, I0. And add a output energize and link it to output 0, O0. Make connection between them. Add function if input 1 or input 2 any one is closed. The output 1 will be energize. So add two contacts named, examine if close, at the second rung in parallel and link them to input 1, I1, and input 2, I2, respectively. And add a output energize and link it to output 1, O1. Make connection between them. Add function if input 3 closed, the output 2 will be energized after 3 seconds. For the time delay we need to add timer also. So add contact named examine if close at the fourth rung, link it to input 3, I3. And add on delay timer. Set the preset time to 3 seconds. And add another open contact, link it to timer's DN port and add a output energize and link it to output 2, O2. Make connection between them. Add function if input 4 close, the output 3 will be de-energized, normally output will stay energized. So add contact named examine if open at the fifth rung and link it to input 4, I4. And add a output energize and link it to output 3, O3. Make connection between them. Add function if input 5 and input 6 both are closed, the output 4 will be energized. So add two contacts named examine if close in series at the 6th rung and link them to input 5, I5, and to input 6, I6 respectively. And add a output energize, link it to output 4, O4. Make connection between them. Add function if input 7 closed 3 times then the output 5 will be energize and stay energize until input 8 closed. In this case we need to add a counter also. So add a contact named examine if close and link it to input 7 I7. And add a counter, set its preset value at 3 and add a open contact at next rung. Link it to DN port of counter and add output energize and link it to output 5, O5. Add a more open contact, link it to input 8, add output energize and link it to reset port of counter. Make connection between them. Ladder logic is ready. Just make electrical connection of PLC module. Add push button and switches at input side and make their connection according to guidelines given by manufacturer. Connect power supply, add lamps at output side to see the outputs. Play simulation. Now we can examine that, is this PLC working according to our required function? That we have designed and linked to this PLC by using ladder logic. Press push button 0, 
Input 0 is energize and output 0 is also energize. Press push button 1 or push button 2, output 1 is energizing on both. Press push button 3 and hold. After 3 second, output 2 will be energize. The output 3 is already energize, but it will de-energize upon pressing push button 4. The output 4 will energize only if switch 5 and switch 6 both are closed. If we press push button 7, counter will start counting and output 5 will be energized when we press this button 3 times. And if we press push button 8, counter will be reset. And output 5 will be de-energize. I hope you understood the function of PLC very well. Project file of this circuit is also available to download in the description. If you have any question, you can ask in comment section. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get notification of my new videos. Goodbye.